Well, a very good evening to you of what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a, a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. The strains of the national anthem of Brazil. thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem now to match it This is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Oh, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. So it's down to business here. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Well, I would say one of the most energetic midfielders you'll find in Jordan Henderson. He's added to all that running power with slicker passing and some very impressive finishing. And he's a proper leader now, too. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. Forward it goes. He's through, now is he in? Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. That's a decent ball. Alex Tellez. Look at the defender bombing forward. Gorgeous control there. There are a few waiting for it. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. And here's Kane. Henderson. Casemiro with the foul. He gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Yeah, and he's just entered the last chance saloon. One wrong move now, and he's in trouble. Walker. Hoists it forward. Vinicius Junior. him out Stones with the clearance throw in. And it's Alex 
next to goes for it. Wasn't easy. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were Vinicius Junior. And he's there to make a great save. Vinicius Junior is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Maguire. And it's played forward. Oh, good interception. Henderson looks to dink one in. Alex Tellez. Vinicius Junior. Out to the right. And he's there to clear it. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. Stokes. Shaw plays it forward. Shaw has been caught there. It's a foul. Well, that's been lenient here. And can he get too many more chances? And it's Walker. Gets it back. Casemiro. A heavy challenge. Saka. Walker. He's pinged one through here. The shot! The skipper's goal! Well, this skipper probably feels the obligation more than most to deliver goals at important times. Going into the interval is always a key period, and his opener could prove to be a critical development. England are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. established he's just gone and reminded us yet again of what a threat he carries and it's K just brushed off the ball there well played he saw that coming Stones and it's half time here here we are, off they go for half-time, the breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal, it was very, very tight. Well, it hasn't exactly got the price. So, off we go once more. Brazil don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in the second half. They can't hold back though. Jordan Henderson. Walker. Kane. It's Kane! He's done very well to get to that. Kane sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Danilo. Ball through needs to be good here. And the counter is on. He's left his man. Danilo. And it's Danilo. Danilo. Brazil still this single goal behind. Keeper's ball. Shaw. Sure. 
your impression so far, Jim? Well, the time has arrived to start taking risks. They may well be happy just to level this. And the through ball is intercepted. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. And the weighted pass, face to face with the keeper. Oh, great defending, that needed doing. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Tries to get it forward quickly. And that's the end of that, it all started well enough. Jordan Henderson. Kane plays it out to the wing. Neymar. It's Alex Telles. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Danilo. Brazil are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Foden. Now it's Kane. Battles to win it back. That's surely a foul free kick. Changes then in quick succession. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Yeah, needed a better pass there. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Just five minutes left. Brazil cannot afford for this to peter out. They're just... And the shot! Defending of the desperate variety. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. Alex Teles. Alex Sandro. And the referee brings it to a close. So it ends 1-0, an enthralling game. Narrow defense. Just summarize what we've seen today, then, Jim. It's just a bad day at the office, Peter. They look below par in all areas, and it has to be cause for genuine worry. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.